An international monetary fund team is currently in Kenya on a fact-finding mission following recent protests that derailed the government's tax plans. President William Roto's decision to scrap this year's finance bill in June has left Kenya facing a larger budget deficit, growing unpaid bills and delays in receiving IMF funding. Furthermore, Kenya, which secured a four-year loan from the IMF in 2021 and additional financing for climate initiatives in May 2023, now has access to a total of $3.6 billion in IMF loans. According to IMF spokesperson Julie Kozak, the current visit aims to engage in constructive dialogue with Kenyan authorities to chart a way forward. Kenya's situation does reflect uh, broader challenges that are facing many countries in uh, sub-Saharan Africa. The region is experiencing a significant funding squeeze due to tighter global financial conditions and the reduced availability of concessional financing. Uh, policymakers in the region, including in Kenya, face a complex balancing act. There's press pressing spending needs in some priority areas, such as social programs, health and education. Um, they also have to manage rising public debt, and they're also looking to boost their own domestic revenues. Um, for Kenya, uh, the goal of the program is to help establish sound macroeconomic fundamentals, which we see as crucial for fostering sustainable and inclusive growth, as well as for generating jobs, especially for uh, young Kenyans. The program um, includes initiatives um, to improve governance and transparency and to ensure the proper use, uh, the ensure the responsible use of public funds. But it is also important that these policies go through a process of broad consultation so that they can gain uh, the necessary public support. And we're currently working with the authorities to ensure that the objectives of the program can be met. Um, right now, there is an IMF um, staff visit in Kenya. This is a fact-finding mission and is part of our ongoing and constructive dialogue with the Kenyan authorities to find a balanced path forward. And we'll provide further updates um, after the visit.